förra avsnittet av Ocean Avenue. Charlotte, what are you talking about? The calls from New Jersey, Tony. Lauren Ramsey's dead. Dead. Why didn't you tell me you're trying to contact her? I I didn't want to remind you of uh... Of what, my baby Tony? Why'd you just say it? Well, we've established that she was in New York the day after Jazz's murder. So you think that her disappearance was connected with the murder, don't you? Yes, and I'm convinced more than ever since I talked to Terry Martin. Well, what does Terry Martin have to do with this? She was the first person that Lorraine called when she hit town. It's a pleasure. And I probably wouldn't be seeing your sweet ass around the rest of the school year. Yeah, well, the principal made a call to my mother, and that's pretty much all it took. But just because I'm here does not mean I'm here. Okay, meaning? Meaning, from now till graduation, I'm just gonna coast. Now, do you wanna get out of my face? Uh, I can't do that. You see, our fate is kind of intertwined, cosmically speaking. <laughs> Talk about romantic, huh? Deal's off, Raider. I'm not letting Mr. Ryan take any of the heat for this. That's a real bad idea. That's a very bad idea. Gabby, uh, thought you were still upstairs. I've been up forever. I couldn't fall asleep last night. Oh, sorry. I uh, was just gonna get a cup of coffee and take it inside, go over my notes. So, um, how's the trial? After yesterday, slam dunk. Yeah, that was pretty bad, huh? It was all circumstantial, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the only thing that was really even close to hard evidence was Crystal Tate's testimony about Martin's hands around Anne's throat. Yeah, what does that all mean? Unless I can refute what is now a mountain of circumstantial evidence, I think the judge is gonna order for a trial. Really, when do you think that's gonna happen? Probably in the next several days. I don't really have any other strong witnesses. Does that mean you're gonna be going back to New York? Actually, Gabby, I wanted to talk to you about that. <clears throat> hey, Chrissy. Yeah? Are you decent? Yeah, I'm decent, come in. Hey. Morning. Morning. Wow. I must look like I've been up all night. I'm sorry. Hey, 
Have you been crying? No. You got something in my eye, that's it. Look at me. You are crying. What's up? I'm okay. It's it's nothing. It's nothing. No, it's not okay. You're way too cute to be locked up in some room sobbing. I really wanted to do whatever I could to help. And I just messed it up. Come on. It's not your fault. I just don't know who to trust anymore. Hey. You can trust me. I know I can trust you. And what would I do if you weren't there? I wouldn't have anyone. Shh, come on, stop crying. I'm such a mess, aren't I? I'm sorry. Come here. No, you're not. You're very, very cute. You're the only person who understands me. Oh, come on. I'm sure that's not true. It is true. And if it weren't for you, I would be back in Stockholm for a long time ago. Well, I'm glad you didn't go. You mean that? Well, we're still waiting on you for that family dinner, son. Uh, well, it's been pretty crazy since uh, the trial started. Right, so you must be headed back over to the courthouse, huh? You know, I think we're gonna wrap this thing up the next day or two. Actually, I was hoping we could talk first. Oh yeah, about what? Tommy told me that you had a pretty interesting conversation with Crystal Tate. No, I didn't. And it's a damn good thing, too. I don't even wanna hear that woman's name around here anymore. Fine, whatever. She is single-handedly trying to ruin my bid for mayor. I'm starting to believe the opposition put her up to this so-called investigation. Dad, there are questions that need to be answered here. Yeah, well, that may be true, but... Uh, no, I don't have the patience to go through these so-called allegations for a two-bit rag. Well, then forget the allegations. I mean, forget the whole thing. I have one question for you. Did you know my mother was in New York? I know you're not gonna feel easy about anything until your mother's killer is found. Yeah, that's right. But realistically, that's gonna take a while. Even if Martin goes to trial. Are you gonna defend him if that happens? No, I doubt it. I've got a caseload in New York I'm behind on, and Martin would probably wanna to put together his own defense team, you know, which I would recommend that he do. So, you're just gonna leave right after the trial. Yeah. I guess I hadn't focused on that. You said you wanted to ask me something. Gabby, I'm not gonna dance around it. I still really care about you. I care about you too, Michael. Enough to come back to New York with me? Well, I can't say the thought hasn't crossed my mind. We had a good life, Gabby. You can have it again. A lot has changed. Yeah. But all that really matters is if you really want to get back together with me as much as I do. You know, I... I don't know what I want. <laughs> I really like my independence and my lifestyle and... Is this because of Lucas Devon? Is that why you're hesitating? I don't know. What? What's I'm, wrong? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That should not have happened again. Hey, it's okay. Look, I'm glad it did. Lucas, look, please don't take this the wrong way, okay? I just really don't need all my feelings just let out there right now. I know you like Gabby. Yeah, well, Gabby's made it 
perfectly clear that we'll never be more than friends. Yeah, but you still have feelings for her and... But she doesn't make me feel the way you do. What do you mean? It's different with you. I don't know, you're happy, you're fun. You're not just standing around waiting for me to screw up. I kind of think you're a pretty terrific guy. Well, you know what? It's really nice to hear sometimes. Even if it's not totally true. Oh, come on. It is true. No, it's not. Seriously, you you have a great personality. You, you're charming, very sexy, and you say the right things at the right time. Maybe you're just the kind of girl that brings out the best in me. You really mean that? It's just so easy with you. I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. There's no stress. You know, I hate stress. Ugh, I hate stress too. I mean, isn't life about having fun? Huh? Exactly. I'm gonna jump into the shower. I'm gonna get ready for work now. No, see, I'm your boss. And I say you can be late. What? I thought this was about having fun. Yeah. I'm just not sure that you want to be with me and not Gabby. Chrissy, I am with you. Yes, you are with me. Physically. But until you are here as well, then I think we better slow down. All right, let's get this out once and for all. It suits me. Look, I don't know what kind of lies this tape woman's been feeding you and Tom. They're not lies, Dad. Mom was definitely placed in New York the day after she left Miami. By who? Your new lady friend, Terry Martin. <laughs> That's a bunch of bull. Then why don't you ask her for yourself? Okay, maybe I will. So you're telling me you didn't know anything about this? Look, Will, I told you and your brother what happened. Yeah, right. You came home, Mom's stuff was gone, no note, no nothing. You never heard from her again. That's right. I don't believe that. I want to know why Mom left that night. And I know you know something. You don't like my answers, do you? Like I told you. Why don't you go ask your hero, Devin? He knows. Oh, that's right. Martin Devin was having an affair with my mom. But that's what you want me to believe. Will, what do you want me to say? The truth, damn it, for once. All right. And here it is. Lorraine was a whore. I've been trying to shield you boys from that for a long time. Now you come in here and you want to know what's what? There it is. You happy? But it's your fault. Mine. Look, she's the one that ran out. She's the one that got caught having an affair. Huh? I've been here all along, Will. I'm the man that raised you. It's not why she ran out. Oh, really, Einstein? All right, fine. Why don't you go back to Devon Industries and take a look in that little microscope of yours? Maybe then you'll see the whole ugly picture. You know, I agree with you there, Dad. I think the whole picture is real ugly. I think Mom had something on you. And I think it had something to do with all this stuff in the papers about the Jazz Geese murder. Well, you know something that's, uh, that's real interesting? But I don't have much time to listen to a bunch of fairy tales. You make time, old man. Fight, boy? Huh? Is that what you want? You were just not getting it. I'll tell you what, I'll make it real clear for even a brain dead slut like you to understand. Get your filthy hands off me, you pig. Here's the new deal. One, you and Mother Teresa are not suddenly in the same zip code. 
Throw Uncle Throw in your conscience at me. You got it? You're gonna pay for this. Ooh, that scares me. Two, you are trapped like a rat in a cage. I'm the dude holding the cheese. There's no way out. I can tell the truth. That's a no-no. If you even think about cutting Super Teach loose, you are gonna really cause an impact on my future plans. Like I care. You know, did I ever tell you that your attitude really sucks? Listen to me. If you even think about clearing Ryan, you're gonna have to start naming names. That's not gonna work with me. I'm not afraid of you, Raider, okay? You're just striking out today. And guess what? I am not gonna be responsible for what might happen to you if it should come to that. I mean, who knows? We could have a little instant replay of what happened at the Glades. This time, I will not be so considerate. This was very nice. They're beautiful. Thanks, Tony. Ah, I wanted you to feel welcome to your first day back at work. Well, I do. Thanks to you. Well, I still think you should take some time off. You know, relax, go to a concert. Nah, there's too much to do. <sighs> the fundraiser ball is next Friday, and, uh, you know, I still haven't sent out all the invitations, and I gotta get a hold of a caterer. Uh-huh. And what is your friend Dr. O'Keefe doing while you do all the work? Oh, come on, Tony, be fair. <laughs> I know you don't particularly like Will, but um, he does have some more important things to do, like running Devon Cosmetics. Running it into the ground, you mean? Uh, Martin, I'll never get over this. Uh, Millennia fiasco. I was thinking of going down to the courthouse later on. I feel a little guilty about not showing my support. Martin's always been very good to me. Well, from what I've been reading in the papers, I think uh, Martin will need more than moral support to get through this. Hmm. I guess it's going pretty badly. Uh, you're a good friend, Dr. O'Keefe's testimony didn't help. He's not a good friend, all right? Oh, I hope you have finally seen the light about that, Charlotte. I'd be a fool not to, wouldn't I? Yes, you would. Well, I must go. Ciao. Oh, uh, Tony? Yes. I wanted to ask you something. Of course. What? I've been trying to locate my little girl's death certificate. Why would you do that, Cara? I guess I just need some kind of closure. They have no record of it in Mountainside, New Jersey. And I spoke to this woman at the town clerk's office who's been working there for 25 years, and she does remember a Lauren Ramsey movie in 1993 after her husband died. Really? Yeah. She moved to New York City. Tony, maybe, uh, maybe I sound crazy, but I have a very strange feeling about this. About what? What if my daughter's still alive? This has been coming to a head with us, hasn't it, Will? Just tell the truth. What happened the night Mom left? This isn't the time or place. You've been putting me off for 25 years, old man. You're not gonna do it anymore. Look, Lorraine O'Keefe is dead. Why can't you just accept that and move on? No, she is not dead. Now you're covering something up, I can feel it. If she were dead, I would know. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. You two were joined at the freaking amp, weren't you? I forgot. Yeah, she raised you real soft, Lorraine did. 
You are so predictable. I figured you'd say something like that. You know, the only affection, the only memory I have of love was from her. So I sure as hell never got any from you. You didn't want it from me. You sure as hell never did. Now, you had Martin Devon right there to wipe your little sniveling nose for you. Well, that's because Martin Devon was more of a father to me than you ever were. Yeah, you are definitely your mother's son, aren't you? Huh? Why don't you try being a man for once in your life, Will? Why don't you try being a father for once in yours? What'd you do to my mother? So help me, I'm gonna find out, and if you hurt her, you are gonna wish you were the one who disappeared. You got that? Dad. You don't have the guts to take me on. You're still a little freaking mama's boy. Come on. Come on, tough guy. You want to do something, huh? Chicken. Yellow coward. And you're a coward just like Lorraine was. Meeting with Tony still on? Oh, um, no. I'm sorry, I should have called. Completely slipped my mind. Tony had to meet with some out of town suppliers. Okay. Right. I can see you're annoyed. I should have called. No, you must have been really busy. Ian, don't be like that, please. What, you think I'm doing this for a little peck on the cheek? Huh? Don't do that. Just call it, will you? No one said I wasn't gonna thank you properly. Right now might be a pretty good time. Well, why don't you go and lock the 